music. Okay. Hey. Oh, we're matchy. Yes. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. Right. So, what's going on? Hey, Samantha. Hey, Donna. Hey, Katie. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. So, we're uh, slowly wrapping up October. <laughs> yes, we are. It's what is it? It's twenty sixth of October, guys. Yeah, it's getting there. Oh, Camille. I didn't realize you were in Utah. Utah. Is it? It's warm in Utah, right? No, I think they get a winter in Utah. Yeah. Okay. I think so. There's some snow. Hey, June. So Han is kicking it off today. I'm I'm going backwards. <laughs> I'm going a little backwards, guys. Um, we have only five days till Halloween, so I think. Uh, it's still enough time for you guys to make some Halloween cookies. So I'm going to be doing some super simple. Anyone can last do these. Minute. So it's last minute kicking the kicking the caboose yes. to finally do it. Oh, it's 39 degrees in Utah. Wow, it's very cold. Okay, your hands. I've got some. I've got a mess behind me. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. All right. Oops. All right, so this is, oh, face, Facebook kicked you out, 39 degrees. So this is a pretty big um, pumpkin cookie I've got here. And I also have a smaller one. I don't know now the size, I don't know, but um, we're going to show you a couple of designs today. So let's start with, the, um, okay, I'm trying to find my, okay, here we go, my marker. I wonder if you're gonna uh, guess what I'm making, okay? Hey, ladies in black. Yeah, this is totally unplanned. We just, it's a, uh, it's unplanned. We didn't really speak about uh, dressing up or anything. Okay. They but suggest. Have... Yes. What is it? They suggest uh, just one color during live streams because if it's a print, supposedly it's not good. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I know, but I'm, I I don't always have one color. All right. So do you know what I'm making, guys? Anyone? Well, Donna, Donna still needs to make her Halloween cookies. So. Oh, good. So this will be perfect. So this is a great cutter. Very much universal cutter, I would say, for a lot of different things, not just for... The pumpkin, you can also use character cookies. 
You can also use it for character cookies. I actually have a blog post that includes 10 different, or even maybe even more, 10 different designs using this cutter. It's on my blog, hanyalas.com. So June is guessing Frankenstein, Maria Frankenstein. Yeah, I guess it's the green, huh? To make the green, um, I don't know what you do to make electric green, but if you don't have electric green, I um, I always use lemon yellow, and then I add some green, like leaf green, and it works really great for um, bright electric green. Gives it a little a little pop. Um, v. Mogler, I hope you feel better. A broken ankle sounds terrible. Well, it's terrible. Do you have it in the cast? I wonder, or uh, crutches, huh? broken well, ankle is definitely uh, a crutches, right, situation. But I saw the craziest thing the other day. Um, remember Ryan had hurt his um, yes. his, his hip pointer thing? Well, they, there's a thing now somebody invented. You bend your leg, and it's basically, a, um, um, what do you call those, gosh, now? Again, my brain. Crutches? Like, of crutches, but it's like a thing you attach to your knee. So your leg is bent and it, it attaches to your knee so you can press on your knee, right? The weight can be, so you're walking around and your leg is bent. It, it was awesome. The people were- Oh, walking. I see what you mean, that they, they walk with the, so the yes. knee is bent and then there is a, something. Yes, yes, yes. And you mentioned, so no need for crutches? Exactly, it was genius. I, it was like- uh, I love but, the crutches. Crutches are respect because you show up with crutches and everybody is afraid of you. Yes. <laughs> oh, they, you know what I mean? I had crutches in um, in uh, school. She's um, in a boot. And um, hmm? she said she said she's got. Uh, she's in a boot. No, I mean no, I'm boot, non way bearing. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this one is slightly crusted. Ideally, you see how shiny, and I actually have some air bubbles there. Uh, you see still, it's pretty shiny. I flooded this um, maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. You want this to be um, a bit more crusted like than, than this for this next step. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Just so I'm just going to interrupt you then, Han, because uh, your cookie is a perfect shape, and Rhonda wants, she's, she's, um, having a lot of trouble keeping her cookies the, the correct shape. You know I mean? Okay, so... I don't know what recipe you, you use. I have a recipe on my blog and also um, without the ads is listed in my coffee shop. If you wanted to check that out, I use sugar cookie recipe. And um, now you can play with the ratio of baking powder. Um, I, I generally now don't add any baking powder or I will add maybe quarter teaspoon. Also very crucial is the butter temperature. If your butter is very soft and you are creaming it with sugar, it usually uh, leads to spreading of your cookies and also um, another thing is I've had experience that the silicone mats my cookies would always spread if I use silicone mats it's I don't know whether it's because the heat would get to the cookie um, faster no, no no I mean slower Slow because of the silicone I mean slower so then it, at, the, at the foot it would be like you know spread oh, yes, so yes, I yes. only use um, now you could use, um, Marlon introduced this to me, uh, perforated mats. They're fantastic. Perforated mats or parchment. And a last ditch thing is cornstarch. You could add cornstarch or so. Yes. Yeah, cornstarch to your thing. Hello, Joseph. And if you are really, really, hi, Joseph. If you are really, really struggling, then skip the granulated sugar and use powdered sugar. Our powdered sugar is less prone um, to spread you're using in, in, in a cookies. And there's the cornstarch in that, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. So now I'm going to use black. This is uh, about 15 seconds or so. It is a pirate crutch. That's exactly right, Anne. That's it. Oh, that's how it's called? Oh, well, it's, it's a good name. Hi, Karen. So now I'm going to go around the hairline. And uh, I don't like to um, use my scribe around the hairline much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to Increase the pressure on the bag, so more I, more icing is gonna come out. You see, and then I won't, I won't have to do the scribe around the hairline. A knee scooter. That sounds like an interesting contraption. A knee scooter. Well, I hope I never have to use it. I tried using a scooter, 
Remember a couple of months ago, I told you that I was using a scooter. It's not the same because you had told me that you had a scooter that was going how fast, you said? Mine was 100 kilometers. This is like some insane, insane speed, but I don't think we are talking about the same scooter. I mean, the one with a, with a flat uh, platform that you put your foot on. Yes, you yes. You actually meant the motor motorized one, right? Like a, yes, yes. Okay, so no, so I meant the I meant the one with the board. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's not Joseph. Oh, Joseph. no problem. We are just starting, so I'm glad you could make it. All right, so you could leave it as is, but I'm going to complicate things. I'm going to add some sanding sugar. Ideally, you want to use black sanding sugar if you have some if you don't have any you could also use i'm going to be using white and sugar and there's hands block on the screen yes i actually have all of these designs also on my blog and more and there's her instagram and her coffee in a, 10 10 uh, pumpkin decorated cookies or something like that it will come up now like i said before you add sanding sugar to your design, you want the green part to be thickly crusted. Mine is not. The reason you want it crusted so it's the sanding sugar is not sticking. How do you get rid of air bubbles in your royal icing? Now, um, what you can do, you can, um, uh, first thing, not don't add too much water to your royal icing. That will also increase the number of air bubbles and uh, you can cover it with a uh, food wrap or a um, kitchen towel or something like a damp towel for like 20 30 minutes and then what i like to do i like to take i take the bowl so imagine this is my bowl right and i will firmly bang it on the surface and the bubble starts to pop you can then take your scribe or something and just very kind of gently go around the surface you know just on the top to pop more bubbles. You can then cover it again and you know proceed to, to do that again if you have like an excessive amount of bubbles. Sometimes they can be really, really annoying, I know. But okay. So let me add this. So I'm going to I'm gonna try to oops, I'm using this one. This is my little silicone cup. You have those two, right? Aren't they awesome? They are. So it's great because you can fold it and it holds uh, like, you know, wrinkles or whatever. So I'm just going to aim to cover the black part of the hair. Jennifer already got snow. Ooh. Who? Jennifer. Jennifer got snow? Four and a half inches last night. Really? Wow. Okay. We're getting rain here, but no snow. That's early now. It's only end of October. Is that an indicator that it's going to be strong winter? I don't know. Mm. That will be interesting. Okay. So now I'm going to you know, try to demonstrate how to do the eyes. Um, if you freeze your cookie dough and bake it later date, can you refreeze those cookies once they're baked and decorated? Yes. I would say yes. If you freeze your cookie dough unbaked, and that, let's say you want to bake, uh, even now, guys, it's time to actually get ready for the for the Christmas. You can actually prepare. I have a blog post about how to freeze cookies. So you can actually bake unbaked cookies. You can cut them out, freeze them on a flat tray, and then once they are frozen, you're able to handle them and place them in freezer-safe containers. Place them between, uh, like, parchment or something so they, by, if, God forbid, your, your freezer... Um, dies or something so they're not sticking to to each other and you can then use them and then um yeah you can bake them decorate them and then you can freeze them again right would you say would you, would you agree uh in my case i've not had great success freezing long-term uh raw cookies like they they don't bake well well i would say three months stops yeah me like 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 a week no they, oh really then well, I, what, what happens they just like get wonky like they look weird maybe it's my recipe really? or you know there's so many variables from your ingredients to prep and all that and so for me in my case whenever i've baked a, a raw cookie that has been frozen a long time it does not work for me so i bake them and freeze them baked 
And then okay, so you break them and freeze them. But then yes. you wouldn't refreeze them, would you? No, then I would uh, pull them out, like, and I need to decorate them, like, you know, uh, whatever, like when I need to decorate them, and then I, you know, they'd be ready to go. So Diana, so that's how you steer, what you steer with. So I wouldn't steer with a whisk. I would use like a flat spatula. Maybe even like when you're steering, like try to with the spatula, like sometimes go around the, the side of the bowl, like flat, so you can kind of flat. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to, can you explain? Just a spatula mean? that doesn't, you know, you're, you don't want to reintroduce air. The whole point of this bubble problem is air. So you're trying to not over kind of like, in, you know, the whisk is, is to introduce air. That's the whole point of that tool. Yes, Jeremy, once you've spent winter in Alaska, I would imagine this is like Florida. <laughs> wow, you, you spent, oh, this is too bright, okay. You spent winter in Alaska, thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, I'm going to do the eyes, all right? So this green, green icing, it's, it's just barely crusted, but we can still do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, make holes um, or a little dent for the eyes, just so I know where to pipe it. So what I do, you want to kind of find the center and then kind of figure out where you want your eye. So I'm just going to poke a little, I'm just going to make a little dent there. Okay, just so I know where to pipe the eye. And I'm going to... Sorry, I, uh, Sally's saying she does freeze twice. You know, if it's working for you, then perfectly fine. There's, no, you know what I mean? If it's working for you, it's not wrong. If it's working for you. Oh, my icing is Oh, I don't think Pam, that Pam is going to be doing that. <laughs> oh, Pam, sorry. I'm not in the, in the States anymore. It would be lovely. It was wonderful. Did you take the class with me, I guess? Thank you for taking the class. But I do I do give my classes now, so you can uh, you can check uh, on Global Belly my, in my shop. I don't have a class coming up now, but I hope I, 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 I hope to um, get a Christmas one going. Okay. So there, so now I'm going to do the eyes. So I'm gonna, can you see? I'm making this uh, really big because I'm gonna do eyelids. Now to smooth them, you want to use um, your scribe and just go back and forth. And while it's still wet, you can do the um pupil so the white part is clara if i'm not mistaken correct me please if i am yes current class went well i had fun i hope for folks who attended had fun as well now we can also do reflection it's got quite big eyes huh? and to do the reflection you can um uh, just use a little bit of icing, push the icing out of the bag, and then use your scribe to pick it up, just the tip of the scribe, and then you can place it just on the edge of black and white. Okay. There. And then we have to let the eyes cross. Now, to make the eyes, I use thicker icing because I didn't want to have any cratering. You could also make the eyes ahead of time, and these would be great transfers and just have lots of eyes pre-made. I also have some small eyes here. These are actually built on pre-made eyes. You could actually use these. They, they come in different sizes if you don't want to bother. Oh, yeah, so the black people always say, so that's the consistency. You could also use a little, little um, trick. You can pipe what you can do before you do the eyes. You can pipe a little dot in the center and let it crust and then pipe over it. And this little dot, once crusted, is going to act as a support so you won't have the cratering happening. Okay, so now we're going to do, what time is it? Okay, we're going to do the nose. 
Now we're just going to do the bottom. That's awesome, Jeremy. That's a nice day. He went, he, he, he took his son, he took his son to Legoland. Like, you know, it's one of those moments where oh, you're like, oh, oh, I don't know, if you took your son or yourself. I didn't <laughs> take his son or yourself. I don't want to go to Legoland. <laughs> I really want to go. Have you been? It is. It, yes, I did go. Uh, when my son was, uh, you know, like now he's uh, he's like a young man, but when he was a kid and he had the, the best thing that he loved was trading his little, you could trade the little guys with the workers, you know, the little men. So he had his little collection and he could trade if he saw one that was cute. Oh my God, he was running all over the place trading with everybody. <laughs> they just, it's funny because I just today read an article about um, Lego designing Gosh, if I could remember, what was it? It was some famous, um, well-known architecture. Can't remember now. But it was um, maybe somebody will know. Who knows? Well, the green. Uh, it it depends it on the size of your cookie. Now, look at this. This cookie is pretty small. So, is did he smoke a joint? Oh, she's frozen. What's happening? And hello. And am I gone? No, I see, I see, I see. Okay, I'm gonna see. I think I forgot to set up this. So let's see. Oh. Am I black? Am I black? Do you see me? I see your chair, yes. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. My apologies, sorry. Back. See, I had a beautiful witch um... cushion. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a, it's actually uh, I won that in a giveaway years ago. It's handmade. It's a pillow. Sorry about that, folks. So I'm going to pick this up. So about the divine time. So I would, I would say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm resilient. I don't get lost. I'm back. <laughs> so. Um, um, if you introduce um, air, like if you use a fan, I'm gone again. Do you see me? I don't know. You can't have a I see, quiet. You. I see you. You're a little bit choppy, <laughs> but I see your hands are perfect. What's happening here? It's All right, fine. So I'm going to do the scarf. Um, I'm not using red. I'm using pink because I can use pink, you know? So that's why I'm using pink. I mean, a, a blood yes, I is can't red. hear anything you're saying. Oh, no. Are you, are you complimenting me? <laughs> blood is red, yes, I know. But, but that's not blood. Pink. The cut his blood is very thin down with <laughs> so now i think the eyes are crusted so i'm going to what i don't know what's happening we are having a quite uh i'm freezing can you okay so i'm i'm just gonna continue oh i'm frozen can you see anything? You're all good. Oh, he's anemic. Thank you, Jennifer. That's it. That's it. Um, can you see anything? Yes. It would not be live without technical issues. Yes, exactly. But I haven't had technical issues in a year, and I don't know what's going on. Hello? You can't use, I can't. It's fine. <laughs> 
you can. Do you want to go? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, okay, well, I. I don't. Know. Oh, I'm frozen. Okay, so I'm just gonna come to you, but I'm frozen on my end. Oops. Oh, now I'm messing up here. I'm totally frozen. I don't know what's happening. Why is it happening? Okay, now do the we can do the eyelids. Oh, that's weird. I, I I I only see myself moving. I don't see anything else moving. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue then. And I don't see my little guy turning, but okay, it's weird. I'm glad you are enjoying it. So I'm going. Oops, can't see in the dark here. All right, so I'm doing the eye here. Now with the scribe, you want to agitate the icing and shape it. Hmm. Okay, yeah. it's weird. Oh, now I can see a delay. That's weird. It must be my internet connection. Sorry, guys. Always something, right? Okay, so this is one happy Frankenstein. All right, guys, so that's it for me. Here's the Frankenstein cookie. You could also, if you wanted to, make him a little happy, happy fella. You could add some color to the cheeks if you wanted to. Super cute, Han. Can you hear me? No? So weird. Okay, Mar, do you want to take a I will. leap of faith and do, do your uh, bit today? Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you there? I am there. Uh, I, I don't know why I can't hear you. All right. Thanks, guys. So, Han, I'm just going to write her a little I message. I can hear you. It's very uh, muffled. Okay. So, I'm going I'm sure to today. So, today, every so often, if you guys have been watching the live streams for a few weeks um, or few months, I should say. Uh, I occasionally do these kind of like inspiration, uh, you know, days where I kind of give you guys some ideas. And so since the holidays are really very, very soon today, we're going to talk a little bit about some inspiration. Oh, I'm back. It's better. So that's it. I told her to leave and come back. Yes. So, so as uh, most of you have a dollar store, a similar type of store, and right now, with uh, you know Halloween is five days or something, four days away, they've already most of these places have their Christmas stuff up. So if you're planning on making cookies, selling cookies, gifting cookies, now is when you want to go. Selection is the best right now. So this is when you want to go. So you're going to see all kinds of tins like this. Um, they have all kinds of different packaging. I didn't have a whole lot in my house. So I just, I got a Halloween one here. So this one is actually like a card stock. And you see here, you could easily make a cookie with this all in orange. So when they open it, they get the rest of the skeleton. You know, so this is just an idea and you could make a template. But right now what we're looking at here is this tin, which is a little, oh, here, I took a picture so that I could show it a little bit better. So here it is. It's a little mailbox. And you see it has the little sign and everything. And so you can um, you can get this little tin and you you look at the tins with your cookie brain, like what you could make, a, you know, some of the designs are just not doable. They're just too much. So the point of this is to make the design into a cookie so that when they open the tin, they get a cookie that matches. So 
and this this is like me drawing it so i as you can see there on the screen i use my ipad to trace the photo so i'm tracing the photo there and i'm just really recreating the design exactly you could do this with tissue paper tracing in black marker and make your template that way and then once you've got the design here i'm going to go into my silhouette studio and show you guys so i cut all my templates and stencils using silhou uh, silhouette you could do it also with a um with a cameo and now i'm just going to go and share my screen so there it is you guys can oh hold on i have to hide this picture so there's my my uh, silhouette screen and now i'm just going to get my art that i drew hold on i've got too many things open i can't see the bear okay so i'm just dragging the bear in there and there it is and so there he is and i'm going to go there's a little butterfly there i'm taking that the select trace area and i'm just selecting that and if you notice i'm just going to re-show you when i design I make the design black and I make my lines white. If you draw the thing white and make black lines that are not filled, like you see like this is all filled. If you just, if I had just an outline, you end up with double lines. So this way you get single lines. You don't have to erase a bunch of stuff. Anyway, so there it is. So now I do trace and then let's delete the art. And there is my design now you want to measure the tin because you need those cookies to fit inside the tin and then once you've got them the correct size you can cut your template here let me just adjust so the height here if you lock there's a little lock there you can lock it and then it um when you adjust let's say the height i want them let's say at three inches well it will automatically adjust the width and it, it won't make them wonky so i'm going to zoom in here where is he? Michelle is asking if, if this is this Procreate. Are you tracing in Procreate? I am tracing in Procreate, but right now I'm in Silhouette Studio. So this is the program to cut the the design. Okay. You have a you have a, you have a step by step tutorial somewhere about the Silhouette, right? You have. That. I do. I do, and um, I have them. They're they're in the um, the group. So here's the bear. Okay, and I did design this as a stencil. My, you know, I'm always thinking how to, you know, once you've got the template so that you can easily uh, use it to make your, you know, decorate, your, add your guidelines. So I like to add my guidelines with, um, with um, my how, air. Bobby, Bobby is asking, how do you make it black going into the program to get the white lines? I feel like this may be one of the technical keys I've needed. So when I'm drawing in Procreate, is that what you're talking about in Procreate? How do you make, mm -hmm. the, make it black going into the program to get the white line? To, how do you? Oh. Well, I'm drawing in black. So that's how I get it black. Like I literally, I'm painting in black and then drawing in white. So we can rewatch the video here. I'm drawing in black, you see? So that's how my finished drawing is black. And then when I add my other little elements, like now that I'm drawing them in black, but I just then re like fill, it's a computer program. So I'm easy, it's easy to switch the color to white and there's my design. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to, um, make a, so now I've got this guy here is the decorating template and this is my cookie template. Now here there's a, a tool, it's the offset tool and I'm taking it. And so that, you see how it bumped out there? Well, that is to give you a little bit more kind of like space mm. for the cookie part. So we can see here if I color it so that you can get a visual of what I'm talking about. So let's make it cookie colored. Um, is this cookie colored? Kind of. And then this one here, if we make it in, let's say we make the brown, he's white actually. So here, let's make them like that. And you can see essentially this is what it would look like you'd have the icing there and that's your cookie uh, design, okay? And so then once you've got it sized and everything, you can send it to be cut and I cut my template in cardstock so that I can use it to hand cut my dough. 
And obviously, if you have a 3D cutter, a uh, printer, a lot of people have them now, you could cut a cookie cutter or print a cookie cutter. I, you know, usually I don't find that it's that, like that much work to hand cut. If you have an exacto or a pen blade, you can work pretty quickly. So is there another question here? Are you tracing the picture in Procreate? I am, but you could use tissue paper. If you want, you could take a picture of it with your, um, with your camera. And then when you print it, let's say you don't have a lot of tech. Most people have a computer and a printer, take a picture of it and then you can print it. And then when it comes out, if it's like super big, well, then you can, when you press print, you can usually do a scale print 50%, 25%. And you can kind of like, obviously 50% is half the size. 25% is a quarter of the size. And you can kind of print a template that way. Okay. Thank you, Joseph. Glad you're liking that. So uh, here. Yeah, Procreate is really fantastic to do all this stuff. So is there a way to make the cut lines thicker in silhouette? Yes, I'm going to show you that in a second. Okay, I'll show you that in a second. Hi, Dan. So now we've got the bump out right there, you see? And so the cut lines, is this what you're talking about, June? Like the lines that essentially will be getting airbrushed? So what you can do there, let's say we zoom in, okay? And I'm in, like zoom, zoomed in. And so this would be the line to, to do his belly. Let me, so this is the, the belly kind of outline, okay? So if I double click, you see how it gets, like it's all the little information points. The projector, yes. So okay. I can simplify, you see, I just simplified it and essentially took away all the noise and I just got the, 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 the meat of it, what I really need. And so you can, if you want to just do a quick tweak, you can widen it like that. You can literally go into the little cube and widen it, or you can do exactly what I did with the bump out before. And somehow this all got skewed here. Let me move this back here. You can also with, the bump out thing take out like little little parts like the eyes the eyes are very small they're not going to cut well so i can actually do the offset on the eye adjust it that's too big you see so now it's like just that little bit bigger and i can delete the center one again offset sometimes when i'm making templates i'll delete one of the eyes and use like the same eye twice duplicate it so that the eyes are exactly mm -hmm. the same so there, you see, I made the eyes a little bit bigger. Is that what you wanted to know, June? I love my silhouette. Do you use it, Joanne? All right, so now we've looked at that, and now I wanna show you this picture here. So I'm just gonna get, uh, stop sharing, I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna show you another picture. So now I've cut the thing, and I wanna see, look at him, he's in the bottom of the tin. That's actually a photo of the, of the template in the bottom of the cookie tin. And you want to do that before you make cookies to make sure the guy is gonna fit in there. Now that would, this tin would need probably, you know, 10 cookies. If you don't wanna make 10 cookies, well, you can put in some paper shred in the bottom, and then when you wrap it in the cello and put ribbon, you know, and then you can, you and then you have four cookies. Now you could have maybe yeah. just one, one, uh, one uh, bear, and then inside you could have snowflake cookies or whatever. Exactly, because if we look, you see it's covered in snowflakes. So this is kind of like if you need a template, it's a pretty basic design that snowflake. But let's say you wanted a template, you know, you can just do like some reference points. You see how I made those dots, and then you can you know draw your triangle. So there, that's that. So. Are you going to actually decorate this cute little bear? I'm not because, um, yeah. Today, okay, I mean, later, well, let's, let's do a, a different. Um, okay. So I just want to show you. So here is that template. So this is what oh, I would you, use. You do have it printed. Okay. I cut, yeah, I did cut it. So here it is. I'm not going to put it in the tin because of the angle of the camera. It's really difficult to, to show you guys. That's why I took this photo. So you can see it fits perfectly. You want to give yourself some wiggle room. The cookies expand during baking and also the packaging and all that. You don't want to have anything in there like super tight that 
you know, yes. you can't even, the thing can't even move in there. And then this would be the decorating guideline. So, so once my cookies are baked, I could lay this on top of the cookie and I'll be able to airbrush and I'll get instantly my decorating guidelines. Okay. You can use this on a cake. I can see this being on a cake. You know what I imagine having the bear around the cake, like he, because his yes. arms. Yes, yes, yes. Like having the airbrush, having him around the. So um, again, here, I just want to show you. So you could find online, let's say, you know, a similar looking skeleton and then do the rest, you know? So when you'd open it, you'd have an orange cookie, try to match the liner, and then you'd have a matching thing. Uh, some other inspiration in my, here it's like, is it pixel? Are these donuts and Christmas trees or is this a wreath? <laughs> it's a wreath. So this is Christmas ribbon. Here, let me try to, to zoom in here. If, let me go back and, Oh, is it is it in? Because it was like pixelated. Is that better? Yeah, we are, we are having yeah issues. And we're hardwired. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, so you're matching your cookies to the ribbon, and so they're very simplistic designs. It's just a Christmas tree with like you know swirly white lines, nothing super elaborate. And then here, I had shown this ribbon actually last year. It's it's just a deer. You know, like, this. Rudolph. yeah, and then here's another one, very pretty, basic. Um, oh, I have a similar one like that, but I, or well, maybe the same one. So sometimes yeah. you don't necessarily have to match the design exactly, but you can certainly match the um, colors. Oh, thank you, Byron. Um, <laughs> Sharon, I probably I would leave it a week without a problem i leave my i would leave mine meringue powder based for a month but i store mine now in the fridge because i yeah i prefer um so it doesn't separate as much in the fridge but with the, with the meringue powder I, I have no problem for a month so now i'm going to show something i show all the time we're going to show the ribbon so this is again more christmas prep so these are uh they're twist ties. So inside here, there's a steel wire and you can pick these up in a variety of colors. And so I'm folding it to find the center. You can purchase your ribbon. Uh, I, I try to buy my ribbon the year before because ribbon is quite expensive. So it's nice to get it. This is a very nice. It has a like an Asian vibe to me for some reason. Yes, yes. So you can purchase your ribbon half off at the end of the season. And uh, like, for example, at the end of Christmas, you can buy red ribbon for Valentine's Day. And like right now, if you see orange jelly beans half off from Halloween, you can use the orange jelly beans to make your snowman cookies. Halloween, yeah. I, don't, I don't do a whole lot myself. Nobody comes to trick or treat at my house. We, we, I don't think we'll do anything this year. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think we'll do much. Oh, yes, Heather. I'm very hungry. Yes, donuts. And that's what I saw. I saw donuts. I don't know. Yes. So I'm just going to show you guys how to make your ribbons. So if you need to make ribbons to wrap your cookies, if you do it on the bag the day of, it takes uh, so long. Right now, you could start making your Christmas ribbons right, right now. So you take the ribbon, you see, and I've done like kind of like those, uh, like the ribbon that handed, you know, the awareness ribbon. So yes. I'm just, just like that. And usually I don't cut it before, but in this case, it was a piece of scrap. So, so now once I've got it like this, I take the back part and I hold it with my finger and then I can fold basically the, what will be the two loops. I fold that in half and I'm holding it with one hand. Okay, it's a little bit of a de like dexterity uh, trick. It's a they sell contraptions to help you do it. So now I've put my wired um, see, twist tie, see, yeah, and and you see it. It's like that. So this is the front where the fold is is the front of the bow, and then you're pulling the bow towards that corner, and then you twist in the back. And when you twist in the back, you're sealing the bow holding its shape you see so when i pull it apart now i'm going to be able to kind of like so, reshape it i'm just curious so is this is this what your method is or is this what it's called 
Um, it, it, I don't know the, the technical term, but there is some wood stuff to, to kind of build. I've seen it done on forks as well with the fork. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so then you've got this that you can just quickly attach to your bag and you're going to be able to have pretty bows. Your children even can help you because a child cannot help you. You like a young kid cannot help you tie bows on your cookies and have them look, but they can certainly uh, twist this on the back. You know, if you've got child labor at the house, you want to utilize. <laughs> so I guess this is called bow dabra. Like abracadabra is done. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And so once you've got all your, your, you can do this while you're watching TV. Yeah. Once you've got your measurement, and, and so then you kind of know how big you want your loops. Like be mindful. If this is hanging really low, it's hiding your cookie. So you want to think about that. And okay, so this is a different method. It's not the three finger method. Jerry was saying, okay. yes, I'm, I'm doing it uh, with no tools basically, but it's a little tricky. If you've got dexterity issues, it can be problematic with a, with a ribbon that's larger like this, I can actually do it. I won't cut it, but I'll show you guys. So when you have a larger ribbon like this, and especially this ribbon has the wire in it too. Oh, yeah, I see. Don't tell me it doesn't look like a donut. Okay. It looks totally like it a donut. It does look like a donut. It does look so, like a donut. You can easily, I'm going to, I'm holding it. And this is a much larger ribbon. So all the ribbons right now are at the Michaels and the dollar store. Like I say, selection is at its top right now. If you want to get all your ribbons, let's say all the same. Well, now's when you have to go because you wait, then it's all, you're going to get all different kinds. You see, and look, the bow's done. And you see, like, it's, a, it's all the same color. And then once it's made, then, and you like it, you can cut it. Because if you cut, then you're only getting one cut. You don't have a lot of scrap. You know, if you're cutting and uh, then making your bows, you're going to end up with waste. This way, it's minimal waste, you know. You Thank see, you, Joseph. This is a bit big for a cookie, but you could put this on the side of a gift bag or something like that. And the last thing, what time is it? The last thing I wanted to show you guys. So um, this year they've talked about, I don't know if you guys are hearing prices of gas are going to go up everything is going to go up yes for sure so you know this is the i've year. heard i've heard that the states is expecting second wave of toilet paper oh shortage. really that's what i've heard i don't know if it's true or not i don't want anyone to go and buy all the toilet paper but that's what i, don't, I, don't <laughs> that's know. What I read so we've looked at utilizing uh, inexpensive packaging, using the ribbon technique so that you can kind of work more efficiently. And now the last thing I want to talk about, like I said, the price of everything is going up and we're going to have to be a little frugal maybe this Christmas. So it's maybe this year, if you haven't done it in the past, is to look at your cookie cutters with different eyes, you know, and see about Franken cookie. So Franken cookie is using multiple two or more cookie cutters to make more like another shape. And so here, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to grab them out of the freezer. That's a really nice bow you have there. Very nice. Nice bow. Nice bow cookie cutter there. So, so what I, are you guys doing for Halloween? Let us know in the comments. Do you have any plans? Are you dressing up? What are you going to be? Are you going to scare people or are you going to trick or treating? Do you have enough candy in the house? What's going on? Let us know in the comments. So ideally, when you do Franken cookie, your cookies are chilled. Now, these are frozen a little bit too hard, actually. But what happens when you're working with a frozen cookie, this is, you see, it's not moving. It's, it's a solid, right? Stuff that's frozen is a solid. So when you're trying to piece things together, ideally, you're working with frozen cookies. Because when then you piece them together, they don't get all wonky and weird. And so it actually looks very polished once baked. So here I've got, I want to incorporate the bow at the top of this ornament. And you could use just a regular circle. I just so happen to have the ornament. And so if your cookies are too frozen, you just let them sit out a little bit. And then the steel cutter, this is not ideal for a 3D type cutter because you could damage them. But steel, the steel cutters cut very well. And you see now I've got my yeah. solid. 
I've got my solid bow and then I push them together and boom, I have a new shape. Do you always freeze the Franken cookie? I do because this is the way to get the most polished fit. Like the, the cookies look like they were essentially cut as one. Mm -hmm. And so once you've got it like this, so you want a couple of things, you want to roll them at the same thickness and then you can bake them. I sometimes will put water. And the other thing you can do if you want with your leftover, if you have a little bit of leftover dough, you can kind of squish it in there. But usually once it bakes, it re-expands. And you see the fit, it's not this side, it's this side. And so then it fits perfectly. And the other thing, ideally you wanna have like, you see the points here? This is gonna give you a better Franken cookie than if I had taken the round and cut the bow. Mm -hmm. Then you see it kind of like becomes like a puzzle in there as opposed well, to you have a you would then it creates an outline for your bow. Then you would have to be like second yes. best to work to kind of but, but when you cut, let's say this, it tends to pull away from the circle. Instead, here it's like it it's puzzled in. So it's uh, just yeah, it's like, yeah, I see what yeah, yeah, I guess you mean like it would it would almost become slightly misshaped because yes, of it. it well it, when it bakes, it tends to just like pull away a little bit yes. once it's on the outside. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to give you some inspiration for the coming holidays. Fantastic. Oh, Joseph, you're going to be Harry Potter. Awesome. It sounds really fun. That's fun. Yeah, Harry Potter's a popular one. So you can't buy candy too far in advance. Oh, well, I was asking how much candy they have. <laughs> you can't buy. Well, you got to hide it somewhere. I mean, you got to have a hiding spot. Okay, it can be like adjust this like i have such a mess here <laughs> no problem so yeah so that's it guys um i'm going to obviously be decorating next week there but or on friday but friday, i just wanted to on friday yeah I, I i did a similar vi uh, live stream last holiday everybody's and loving it what are, everybody's loving your inspiration behind you know the the things you bought and you are seeing uh, everywhere you can use that as an inspiration for yeah. your project. Absolutely. When you go to the dollar store and then when you start doing this type of stuff, well, it, it's even more like sellable, you know, like when, if you take your photos, let's say you, you take the time to make your uh, kit, your photos, you know, to promote your products. Obviously, if you get it all ready, you can yes. have all your templates made in advance now so that when Christmas, but you can take your beauty shots, your photos and sell your kits and people like and it doesn't have I mean, inspiration is everywhere you really have to look like with the ornament just look at the ornament section if you go i mean the, it's it's like endless aisle of ornaments so that's also an inspiration absolutely all the all the um wrapping paper inspiration you you know you just have to have your I, eyes open i really it. like the idea though like when your cookie is wrapped and you have the matching ribbon yes, you know that is so nice it's like it looks very um store-bought even though it's form homemade you know what i mean like it gives it like a degree of uh, professional you, know, like, you also it also shows that you care no it's also like you yes, know it's very, you about what you make. it's very nice no this was awesome amazing work everybody is loving it thanks well, for joining us glad you liked it hopefully mm -hmm. um you guys have good uh, stock at your dollar store yeah it looks very professional heather says yes, yes. So that's it. So put your cookie brain uh, to, to good use. So we are, I think we are going to go full steam Christmas on Friday, no? What do you think? Steam Christmas? Well, I've cut a bunch of Christmas cookies. A bunch yes, of you have? Cookies. Okay, excellent. So I've you got are. all kinds of stuff ready to go. And uh, my my cookie kit uh, at Global Belly, the, the, um, the Halloween one, actually has the Thanksgiving cookie project, and it has also a Santa. So it's the candy corn one. And do you have, do you have it in here? In, I uh, in the photos? Right. Do I have the picture? But first of all, I want to show this. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. I'm gonna I hide. just wanted to show the discount code right now for all, everything. They're still, yes, they are still, they are still, Global Belly is still running. So that's 20% off. That's significant. And here are uh, my holiday ones. And you can see there the combination candy corn, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, everything in one. And with the 20% off, um it uh i think it goes down to like uh is it 50 dollars or something so you get like all your supplies for the holidays and han where are yours is there is there more than this 
Um, I have no. I don't think so. I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't think so. I think I have. Uh, obviously, I have uh, more fall ones down. If you scroll down, there is a popular marble leaf fall one, and I also have Christmas ones. Christmas ones are there with a lot of different 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 Christmas designs, and I'm hoping to bring more Christmas designs this year as well, so you guys can uh, decorate with your family and. Uh, Diana, you could try it. I don't know. Put it in the, you know, put it in the cart and uh, try. I mean, you can't, you can't but just try the, the. You could also email them. They are really good about answering emails as well. But it's fast. Yeah. If you put, if you, I always just do that. I, I do a cart and test the code. That's what I do. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you, you are on coming Friday. back on Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Is, is this going to be Halloween, my friend? What? Is it Halloween or Friday? No, on Sunday. On Sunday. Okay. Okay. See you then. Bye, guys. Bye.